chosen. Mark, it's gonna be you. <laughs> All right, Mark, let's find out why these guys voted for you on this challenge. Diana, why'd you vote for Mark? Yesterday at camp, Mark was good at everything. He's strong, he killed on trivia, he could do everything. You go, Mark. So you think basically he's physically one of the stronger ones here and he'd be able to do those kind of challenges, but you think the perceptive challenge might throw him off. Exactly. Mark, how do you feel? Bottom line is I'm scared. You think he's afraid of you too? I know, I'm scared. That's why it wants me off. Come on. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you may. Have you ever known a bearded lady? I have not. I have not. You know what? I, I take that back. In Brooklyn, I did know a couple of my friend's mothers who had a little... I, I thought he was going to say... Oh, really? Okay. I'm going to give you a little bit of a closer look. Why don't you come up here and join me on my disc? And I'm gonna head over to center stage and spin those guys around. Feel free to uh, elaborate. Tell me what you're thinking as I turn each one around, all right? Good. All right, see you soon. All right, Mark, are you ready to see our first guest? I am ready. All right, here they are. Guest number one. Wow. Oh, uh, man, I... <laughs> what do you think? A... I'm still thinking. I'm definitely <laughs> Tell still thinking. Tell me what you're thinking. Oh, man, I am thinking there's got to be a reason that there's a hat on. For some reason, there's a hat, and I can't tell. I'm trying to look at the eyes as much as I can, but it can go both ways, I got to tell you. I got to be honest with you. All right. That one can go both ways. Keep that thought. Here's guest number two. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this might be the funniest thing. Uh, I am honestly... Surprised? Stumped is the word that I'm looking stumped for. Is stumped is good. Yeah, I'm surprised, stumped. That's kind of what we're here for, especially okay, yeah, on this you, you challenge. Guest number three, take good luck. Yeah, that's a... Ooh. Now remember, all of these guys have real beards. There's no makeup or anything like that involved. We're not totally trying to trick you. You're doing a pretty dang good job. <laughs> but only one of these guys is a woman. Is a woman. And last but not least, guest number five. Oh, all right. Now well. you see them all, Mark. I've seen them all, yeah. This is gonna take, take a, a good second. close look. Yeah. Uh, Let's go through them one at a time yeah, again, all right? Starting with the first. All right. Well, sometimes first impressions mm. can help you, sometimes not. You were a little thrown by the hat. Yeah, I was a little thrown by the hat, but I think I'm just trying to look at the stature, and honestly, I'm trying to look for some breasts, but I can't really <laughs> see too you're well. You're not going to make uh, it that easy on you, Mark. Yeah, no, you're not, are you? Number four is too big to be a woman, I hope to God. I, I think that that's definitely not a woman. Uh, number number three, I actually have a friend who looks like, and it's a guy. So I think I'm just going to say that that's definitely a guy. I am going to go. So you've narrowed it down here. I've narrowed it down in my head to three of them. All right, which is what? Which are one, one, two, two, and five. And five. Yeah. All right. The process of elimination. Yeah, that's the way I'm going with this, and I am going to say. I think he might be trying to throw me with the hat on number one. Okay. That just seems like he might be trying to throw me. So you're down to two and five. I think I'm down to two and five, and I think it might actually... <sighs> might actually, I'm gonna say... Just think of what your friends will say, Mark. If you get this wrong, you can't even pick a woman out of a group of five guys. Come on! Oh, my God. All right, I'm just gonna go out. I'm just gonna go for it here. I am honestly just, I'm gonna say number five. Number five is your answer. Number five is my answer. You think that number five is the bearded lady? I think that number five is the bearded lady. I'm gonna stand right here next to your guest, number five. Yes. Will the real bearded lady please stand up and reveal herself? Here it is, Mark. <laughs> it's Dumbo! Mark! You were so close! You had it narrowed 
Yeah, knew it. to two and five. I knew it. What made you decide it was number five over number two? Because I was like, I, 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 you know what? If it was made actually the hair on the head, I was like, if a girl had a hair like that on her head, it'd be easier for her to grow a beard, and that's just stupid. Damn it. Damn. Mark, you know what that means. You couldn't pick out the real woman. You're off to the dog pound. See ya. guys nice work thanks for coming to play on dog eat dog <laughs> wow well mark looked long and hard to find himself a lady but he just wasn't successful that's why he landed himself in the dog pound <laughs> Next time, Mark. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> For our next challenge tonight, someone's going to need to have good balance, fast hands, and fast feet. We're going to put one of you up on our rope bridge. You'll have to make your way across this bridge, unscrew those cylinders, and retrieve flags. And you'll have to move fast, otherwise that bridge will collapse underneath you. Someone here might have trouble crossing over. It's time to choose the loser. It's going to be a race against time when we return to Doggy Dog.